in the red corner is the biopic about the former Olympic gold medalist and two-time heavyweight champion of the world, Big George Foreman. The tale of the once and future heavyweight champion of the world. Now, let's get ready to review this movie! What's up everyone? Welcome back to Cinema Sermons. My name is Kevin and today we are going to review the biopic Big George Foreman, which is of course about George Foreman, the former two-time heavyweight champion of the world. If you are not familiar with how I do my reviews, I'll give you my positives, I'll give you my negatives, reviewing the movie objectively as a work of art, and then we'll take a break and give a sermon, and then I will give you my final rating at the end. If you are not a Christian and you want to go ahead and skip ahead to the final rating, Please feel free to do so, but who knows? You might just hear something that encourages you. So jumping directly into the review, for my positives, I have to say, this movie does a fantastic job of making you care about George Foreman from the jump. Immediately, as the film starts off, you care about the character. So even when he makes bad choices, you're not just like, oh, look at this idiot. You care about him. You're like, George, this is going to go bad for you, man. This is going to negatively affect your life. You care about the character of George Foreman from the beginning of the movie and that carries on. So for the film to have written it that way and the actors who portrayed him from the young child actor to Chris Davis, which I will talk about him in just a minute, they did a phenomenal job making you care about George Foreman. It does a phenomenal job of establishing his humble beginnings so you know eventually that he's going to be heavyweight champ of the world, he's going to have some money, so you care about these humble beginnings. You're like, man, he really came from, from nothing, from extreme poverty and rose to something higher. So you know an encouraging story is coming, it's just hard to watch while it's getting there, but it makes it so much more encouraging when it finally does happen. The movie didn't feel rushed at all when it comes to his story. Each phase of his life was very perfectly paced out. From him being a young, young kid at Job Corps, to his first stint as heavyweight champion, or even just the journey to get to the heavyweight championship. And then of course, the time in between, those 10 years where George did not box, and he becomes a preacher, and then the second half of his boxing journey. Each phase got a great amount of care and detail, and I thought it was really good. We didn't just rush through it, which I've seen in some other biopics, and I really enjoyed that. The movie has a very good message and a very good theme. When George Foreman was heavyweight champ of the world the first time, and he had all the money, all the cars, all the fame, all the success, he was miserable. Let's thank God for the food, y'all. I bought the food, mama. And he was chasing the things that the Bible tells us to stay away from, lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, and it all went very, very bad for him. But when we see when he loses his money, and he's got just a very humble home, but that humble home is filled with love, joy, and peace, he's happy. So it's not stuff that's going to make you happy, it's not titles, it's not status that's going to make you happy. It is peace that comes through Jesus Christ and then of course the family around you. And the movie definitely hammers that message home. This isn't me just preaching, that's the message of the film. So even if I was not a Christian just objecting it, objectively reviewing it, I would be saying that because that is the message that the movie portrays. I just happen to agree with it. Chris Davis did a phenomenal job as George Foreman. The way that he put his body through such a physical transformation to play George Foreman in the different parts of his life was incredible. For the younger parts of George Foreman, he cut weight because he wanted to look like a younger man. And then when he's walking around as the heavyweight champ the first time, he's walking around it. He said like between 220 and 240. So he's a big dude. And then when George Foreman is in the later part of his career and he's, he's bigger, Chris Davis actually put on that weight and then he lost that weight again. So I have to commend the very physical performance and then just displaying the rage of a younger, younger George and then the, the sadness and pain and tears and then just the joy at the end. Chris Davis did a phenomenal job in this role and he should be praised for it. All the other cast did a phenomenal job as well. This was just a really well acted movie. And getting into my other positives, not just is it well acted, it was well made. It had great direction, it was a very visually enjoyable movie to watch, it was a beautifully shot movie, it had great sound design. George, Big George Foreman is a well made film. It had a really good soundtrack too, I like that. To have the, the era accurate music playing from the 60s and 70s and then the 80s, man, I really enjoyed that. It was good music too. It is indeed a very inspiring film. There are better boxing movies, 
but this is a true story and that made it very inspiring. It's funny, he said the only thing that he asked him to change is if he could win the Rumble in the jungle. They said no. That's all you got, George? And my final positive is this movie points to Jesus. George Foreman wanted to make sure that that's what this movie did. He is still a preacher in Houston to this day, and he wanted to make sure that that came across, that it's not just a boxing movie, because at this point in his life, he doesn't really even care that he was the heavyweight champion of the world. He's like, I am a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and that's what this movie needs to do is point people to Christ. So they honored the man's wishes, and this movie does that very well. Getting into my negatives, it is a little bit of a long movie, which again, just like my Star Wars movies, that's not a necessarily bad thing, but it's not one that you're gonna rewatch regularly. You don't just put it in and 90 minutes disconnect. It's a sit down, prepare to watch it, and then you watch it kind of film. And I wanted more grill. Where's the George Foreman grill, man? That's what I wanted. I was like, yeah, a box is cool. I want to see about the grill. I'm just kidding, no, but for real, I really didn't want to see more about the grill. I thought that was a bigger part because that's how a lot of people know him is the George Foreman grill, but they just kind of skimmed through that. Jumping into today's sermon, again, if you are not a Christian and you feel like you want to go ahead and skip it to the final rating, please feel free to do so, but you might just be encouraged. So with this sermon, I just want to go ahead and point out a few things that this movie did because this is a real life. This is something that God actually did and God needs to be praised for what he's done, right? So first and foremost, Jesus Christ redeems. George Foreman did some bad things. He fell for the things that most people fall for, and Jesus still changed him, saved him, forgave him of his sins, and changed his life, and now he is a pastor, and there's a movie out about him that hopefully will reach and encourage a lot of people. Next thing I would say that this movie portrays very well is that we need to watch out for the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. So in non-Christian terms, what that means is sex, money, and power slash status slash fame. This is what gets most people, truthfully. And in the movie Nefarious that just came out, it had a demon talking about how there's a very demonic plan to change our worldview, right? Which I do believe and I do agree with everything that was said in that movie, even though a lot of people don't think so. However, one thing that I personally believe we should be on the lookout for more is lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. The Bible even tells us that we are tempted from the darkness within our own heart. No one can say God is tempting me because you're tempted from the darkness within your own heart. And if James says that, then it's like, well, then you have to be careful for that darkness within your own heart because you're drawn to sin. The Bible also tells us that the human heart above all things is deceitful and that there is no good in us and the human heart is inherently wicked. So you have to watch out because your heart is going to be drawn towards sin. That is why we must be born again and filled with the Holy Spirit of God so that we can desire godly things but even when you are born again, watch out because we've seen so many religious leaders fall. We've seen pastors and, and Christian music artists all fall into the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Sex, money, and power, it gets everybody. So you need to be on guard for that because it's always waiting there, ready to wipe you away. And the final part of the sermon is one that George Foreman really wanted to be hammered home in the film is that just because you become a Christian, life does not just get easier all of a sudden. But when the rough times come, there is faith. As we see, the reason he started boxing the second time is because life got hard and he needed money, but he had faith the second time around. So be encouraged. Life is definitely gonna be hard. Jesus promises that you will have trouble in this life, but take heart for he has overcome the world. All right, so for my final rating of Big George Foreman, I'm going to give it Four out of five stars. I thoroughly enjoyed this film. It was just a very well-paced film, a well-shot film. It was enjoyable to watch. You cared about the characters, all of them. They were very well-acted characters. It was just a great movie, man, and I would love to re-watch it. I would love to revisit it. Even the ne things that I had negative to say about it, that's, again, me nitpicking and trying to find negatives as a critic, but I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. So, Four out of five stars for Big George Foreman. All right, my friends, that is all I have for today. Please let me know down in the comments what you think. Did you enjoy Big George Foreman? Have you seen it yet? Are you gonna go see it? Let me know down in the comments. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so every time I review a movie, you get notified about it. And remember, I love you, Jesus loves you. That's our story and we're sticking to it. See you guys.